What's going on? Welcome to Fearless Fridays. So I want to talk to you guys today about flow state, right? Flow state is an awesome state that you're in when you're feeling more social than you normally are. Maybe you've experienced it when you go to parties or when you go to the club or when you go to a bar. You've ever had it when you went out and all of a sudden you're feeling way more social than you normally are. You're talking to more people than you normally talk to. There's not a whole lot of tension in the environment anymore. Well, that's flow state and it almost feels like you can't say anything wrong. You're actually enjoying it. You're saying things that you wouldn't normally say but you're also not judging yourself. You're just really having fun. And so I want to teach you guys how to hit these flow states when you guys are out and about doing your approaches, doing your stops, meeting strangers, and how to get into it relatively quickly, okay? So this week, I want you guys to go out and try this method that we've been doing with the guys here in the Istanbul week long. And I've named this method the 10 by 10. It's an exercise that Brian gave me back in the day to stop me from overthinking about who to stop next and stop trying to find the safe person to stop. Stop trying to find the person that's likely to stop for me and just start stopping people so I can get into flow state. Because the minute the brain turns on and the brain wants to rationalize who I should be stopping, it's doing it out of fear because I don't want to step into tension. I want to find the person with the least amount of tension so that I can get it done. And it's not really a mindset for growth. That's really a mindset for I want to stay in the same place I want to stay in my comfort zone. I don't want to come too far out. Of, I don't want to come too far out of my comfort zone. So I want you guys to learn how to do this, so that when you guys are out and about, or you guys are out with your friends, and actually, I would even recommend that you go out intentionally with your friends to do this, especially if you've got a friend who is also wanting to see you benefit socially from this. Somebody who's got your best interests at heart. Somebody who's possibly in the personal development space and knows how to uplift you and hold you accountable. Don't go out with a guy or a friend who has too much pride to really care to help you out, who mocks you, who thinks it's funny that you need to do these exercises to become more social and become more in the flow. That guy's only gonna drag your energy down. Don't take him out, it's not worth it, okay? Go out with somebody who actually cares about you. And so when you go out, have this accountability buddy really hold you accountable to what we're gonna do here. And let me tell you what we're gonna do here first and foremost. You're gonna go out and then you're gonna do 10 highs followed by 10 indirect stops. Now, 10 indirect stops are asking for time, asking for directions. Do you know where Starbucks is? Do you know where McDonald's is? I'm trying to find a good pizza place around here. Do you know one? Do you know a good burger spot around there? Things like that. That's very low. It's really low tension. People don't mind at answering those questions. And it'll also get your body in front of people, which is what you need in order to grow your social muscle. Getting in front of people is key. And this is going to be your way in. Now. The doing the 10 highs is kind of just doing a buffer into the indirect stops. Now, do your 10 highs. Hi, hey, how you guys doing? Hey, how you doing, brother? I love your shirt. Do that, connect with people as you're doing it, slow down and connect and get the highs in. But after your 10th high, immediately jump into your first indirect stop. Now, have your accountability partner, or if you're by yourself, set a timer for yourself that after I do a stop, I have 10 seconds to stop the next person. And ideally, I want it to be a girl, a couple, or a group with a girl in it just to have the added tension of having a woman in the group, okay? So you're gonna go out, you're gonna do 10 highs, and you're gonna do 10 indirect stops with the 10 second timer counting down. So it's gonna go something like, I did my 10th high, immediately after my 10th high, it's gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And in that time frame, I have to stop the next person. And if I don't stop the next person, then I have to add 10 more indirect stops to my next set of highs and indirect stops. Also, if in your indirect stops, you can have a 30 second conversation with the person that you stopped, you don't have to do the remainder of your indirect stops. So let's say you do your first indirect stop and you get a 30 second conversation. You don't have to do the other nine. Or let's say you're doing your indirect stops and you get a 30 second conversation on the fifth or the sixth one, then you don't have to do the other five or the other four. You just saved yourself. What this is also going to do is it's going to teach you how to stretch out the conversation with people, how to get more comfortable asking more questions and getting to know the person, finding curiosity about them, right? So if you're out and you're asking for directions like, hey, do you know where I can find a good burger place around here? And they might be like, oh yeah, you know what? There's a burger place down the street over here that's really good. I'm like, cool. What do you get there when you go? What do you like to get there? And they might be like, oh yeah, I like to get this burger. You're like, cool, nice. Are you, you're local, huh? Right? And just start talking, right? Keep, keep them talking. If you can get a 30 second conversation, you don't have to do the rest. Now, again, if you don't meet that timer 
and you get an extra 10 indirect stops thrown to your next set. So it looks something like this. You go out and you do 10 highs. Now you have 20 indirect stops to do. So in order to bail yourself out of this, out of these 20 indirect stops, you have to do two 30 second conversations to bail yourself out of it. Now, again, if you don't get the 30 second conversations, it's not a big deal because doing the stops period is going to help you grow and doing the 30 second conversations is also going to help you grow. So it's a win win either way, as long as you're getting them in the time that's given the, the, the 10, the countdown. Right. And as you're going along, as you're progressing through that and you finish a couple sets, start to drop the timer on yourself. So it's like 10 highs seven seconds before I find the next person. And every time I finish my indirect stop, I have second, seven more seconds added to that. Okay. So as you're going along again, drop the timer again, five seconds now and see if you can get it down in three seconds. That's why it's so vital to do it with somebody that you actually enjoy and that you actually care about or that cares about you because it's going to be fun to them to actually see you out here doing it and they might even want to participate. It's always fun when you get your friends participating because you're going to grow even more and you guys are going to realize that you guys are going to hit flow state like that. It's going to become a point where you're like, you're being selective about the people that you stop and then after maybe a third or fourth round, you're being less selective and you're just jumping in front of people asking the question because the timer's running out. You're like, hey you, do you know where a good burger place is, right? And all of a sudden you're just like, man, your nervous system is kind of freaking out, but it's also starting to relax. You're gonna come down to your heart more, it's gonna open, your grounding is gonna turn on a lot more. So maybe about your fourth or fifth round, maybe even your sixth, you might start even noticing that you're relaxing a lot more into the environment. Like the environment really starts to light up and you feel like all these people that are around you are kind of your friends at this point and that they're not scary to stop anymore. That's when you hit flow state because you feel like everybody is approachable. And you might even go out and start doing directs with girls that you like because you feel so open. You might even do directs if you stop a girl while doing an indirect and give her a direct compliment because you're just feeling so in the flow, okay? So go out this weekend and try this and let us know how it's working for you. So remember, again, 10 by 10, 10 highs, followed by a 10 second timer to get your next indirect stop, which are gonna be 10 of them. And let us know how this is working for you, man. Um, this has been so much fun for me this weekend. I've been out there doing it with the clients and I noticed how quickly I drop in the flow. And then all of a sudden I wanna stay out there and do more of it just because my body is excited to be free. My body is excited to feel so confident that I can stop anybody. I just wanna do so much more of it. And any extra stops that you do while you're, in, while you're out there, or I'll call it overtime, it's gonna grow you even more, right? So it's always gonna be a win-win situation with this stuff. So again, put in the comments if this stuff is helping you. I know you guys are excited about the last video, so I love seeing the comments. Um, let us know if you guys are having trouble with this and how we can assist you in this. Uh, let us know how your flow states have been and let us know some of the crazy stuff you do when you're in flow states also, okay? So also guys, remember, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to get these videos as they come out every Friday. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.